Perfectly Princess is the third volume of the Disney Princess sing-along song series. And I was very curious to see what songs were in this one because this is the third of three. And in the first one, we had a lot of really great princess classics. In the second, we had some classics, some not so much. But I was thinking there really can't be that many left. And yeah, I was right. Honestly, I... I don't think I liked any songs in this at all. Maybe two. I think there were two songs that I enjoyed. The rest, I just didn't care for. Some of them I knew but didn't like. Some of them are from films that I haven't seen in a very long time. Though having said that, there was one, for example, where I didn't really care for the song, but the animation was an absolute delight. So it's definitely not all bad. But compared to the previous two, it is nowhere near the same delightful, magical Disney classic experience. It's just not as great. But if you're a Disney fan, it is still worth checking out because there are some benefits. So I will discuss the songs that are in this and share some thoughts along the way. What I will say is that we have a nice structure to this because... Each song is introduced with a letter written by the princess of that song with a tip on how to be a princess. I just thought that was something a little bit different. It was quite a nice touch. It worked well enough. And then we'd get a song from each of these princesses. And I will go through the songs now. Obviously, if you want the element of surprise, you don't want to know what songs are going to be in this, then I definitely recommend checking this out and then coming back to share your thoughts. So the first song we have is from The Little Mermaid, and it's in harmony. Not a fan of it, but I'm also not a huge fan of The Little Mermaid, so that one's more on me than it is a problem or a fault or anything negative with the actual uh, volume. The second one is from Cinderella 2, and I haven't seen the film in a long time. None of the songs have stuck with me. And this is It's What's Inside That Counts. The song itself I didn't actually really like very much, but the animation, the accompanying animation, was absolutely delightful. So actually, while I didn't really care for the song, I really enjoyed watching it. We then have Out of Thin Air with Jasmine from Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Again, not really a film that I'm overly familiar with, though I have seen it. Not a song that I particularly cared for. You'll find that this is a, a running theme with this volume. We then have a little thought from Beauty and the Beast, Belle's Magical World. I've seen it. I vaguely remember enjoying it. The song was fine. I didn't have any particularly strong feelings towards it. And the same for Pocahontas 2 and uh, Where Do I Go From Here. That song I knew a little bit better than the others. I'm not sure why because I've only seen that film, I think, once. I don't know if I saw it in my childhood. I definitely saw it more recently. And for some reason, that song is one that I guess just stuck with me. That's definitely a good thing. Then we have Whistle While You Work, which is, of course, a classic from Snow White. And really the first song in this where I genuinely thought, yeah, I'm enjoying this one. That one is actually pretty decent. So no complaints from me as far as that one is concerned. And then we have All in the Golden Afternoon from Alice in Wonderland. I've mentioned this before when discussing the previous volumes. I just... I don't care for the music in Alice in Wonderland. I don't know why. It is a film I watched a lot as a child, but the music has just never stuck with me. And then we have the work song from Cinderella, which is not too bad. And then Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And I liked it on this occasion. And I say that because sometimes I just don't like this song. Well, it's not so much that I don't like it. But there are times when I'm not bothered, when it doesn't really make me feel anything. And sometimes, I guess, depending on what mood I'm in, I can actually quite enjoy the song. And thankfully, today was one of those occasions. We then have lesson number one from Mulan 2. No recollection of that. In fact, I, I don't even know if I've seen Mulan 2. This is going to be really awkward if I've recently reviewed Mulan 2 and I've blocked it out. I don't think I've seen it, but either way, I definitely didn't recognise the song. And then we have Here on the Land and Sea from The Little Mermaid 2, which, again, not that bothered about. The songs in that film were absolutely fine, but are not, to me, songs that I want to sing along to. And then we end with It's Not Just Make Believe from Ella Enchanted. So, not the best selection of songs. In Disney's defence, 
I already feel like they'd used all of the classic princess songs and even some of the second princess songs, so maybe not their, their main song, but songs that also feature in the main films. And by this point, they were really scraping the bottom of the barrel and the songs are either... Well, there are a couple of songs that are really good. Mostly they're songs that I'm indifferent to, a couple of songs I couldn't really care for. So it's definitely not as strong as the first two, but we have some good animations and... On the plus side, because I couldn't remember most of the songs, it meant that I was allowed to experience them for the first time in a long time. And obviously, the more you hear something, the more familiar you become with it. So, in theory, I'm one step closer now to remembering those songs the next time I hear them. Whether or not that'll happen, I don't know. Do I recommend Volume 3? Sure, if you're a Disney fan, I think you'll enjoy bits of it, whether it's the music or the animation. It's not a bad experience compared to the other two. Yeah, it's not as good, but it's still not terrible. And as I said, it allowed me to rediscover some songs that I'd completely forgotten about. So that's not a bad thing. I don't know if I'd listen to it again in a hurry, but it's worth watching once if you're a Disney fan.